the Elgato Turbo 264. Good morning. So, basically what this is, is a hardware USB stick for faster video encoding. That's as simple as I can put it. These are about 80 or 90 uh, pounds in the UK. It is made by a company called Elgato. It's the Turbo 264 HD and it enables you to encode uh, and accelerate H.264 video. Now, H.264 video is the codec that most video on the web at the moment is encoded in. And it's the format and compression that's used for web video. So, inside the box, dead simple. This literally takes two or three minutes to set up. You install the CD, um, put in the serial codes, and then you simply in the box, you've just got a, a, a USB extender, USB extender, and uh, this simple little um, USB stick piece of hardware, uh, the Elgato Turbo 264 HD. Now, I've had one of these before, but the standard definition version. Um, because my Mac Pro is five or six years old, I needed to get a new piece of, uh, I need to upgrade it to do faster encoding because it, the CPUs on the actual computer are that old now. Uh, that it can take a bit of a while to encode high definition video. So what this does is whenever I use iMovie 11, uh, that's because that's I use that because I haven't got a graphics card that will support Final Cut X, which is annoying. Um, I use this to output my video to, which gives me a really good quality video actually. Um, in iMovie 11, I've done a little screencast to show you how you simply export to QuickTime and select from a drop down and uh, all the controls in there. So we'll go to that video. If you right click and go to export using QuickTime, uh, you'll notice in the export drop down we now have an option for the Elgato Turbo 264 HD. Underneath that, it gives you the preset settings that it comes with, so you can do it for iPod, iPhone, Apple TV, the usual suspects. You can also encode to HD on this, 720 and 1080p, um, and also do an encode and upload to a YouTube account or an FTP account somewhere. So that's really quite useful if you're in a rush and you finish the edit, but you want to sort of upload that video to YouTube after it's finished encoding, it can do that. Really useful. Uh, clicking on the options gives you a whole bunch of different uh, built-in settings and their standard settings but you can also create your own custom settings if you want to tweak the audio video or if you want to upload it to a standard FTP account you can also click on there protocol FTP insert all your details where you want to put it this is really quite useful if you want to upload a video um, to an FTP service that then encodes it to different other formats in the cloud uh, really quite useful because a lot of those cloud services then export it to other services so my plan with this is to export to an FTP server that then exports it to Blip TV or Wistia or YouTube uh, a whole bunch of different sites at once really really useful once you click on the save button you'll see on the Algato uh, unit that you plug into your USB device a red light comes on and lets you know that it's actually doing something uh, you should be able to pick one of these up for about 80, 90 bucks in the States. Really useful if you've got a five-year-old laptop and you do a lot of video mobile, you might have one of these Kodak Play Touches or one of these uh, Canon Ixus 200 ISs, which does 720p. Um, and you're finding that encoding high definition on the road takes a long time. Using one of these devices, it can sort of be four times faster. Um, they're really, really good. Um, they have a small little chip inside. When you send the video encoding job, to this device, that chip handles it, so the CPUs on your machine don't. So it doesn't slow your computer down as well, which is really useful if you're doing other stuff. That's it really, that's the Elgato Turbo 264, really useful for doing video, high definition video encoding while you're mobile.